Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. Big NFL slate today, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Working our way to 22.8k subs, so keep up the good work. Check out all my betting links in the description below. Really good promos with FanDuel, DraftKings. Check those out in the description below. All kinds of profit boost, touchdown boost today, guys, for NFL. So take advantage of those. And yeah, we'll hop in here. Uh, big slate today. Starting with the Arizona Cardinals versus the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins opening up as a four and a half point home favorite with the over under at 46. Cardinals coming into this matchup three and four. The Dolphins two and four. Uh, Cardinals coming off a Chargers win 17 to 15. Miami, uh, they're coming off a uh, Colts loss uh, 10 to 16. Obviously, the news today, Tua should be back today. Um, all their main guys good to go. The offense could re be re re rejuvenated here today. Uh, we have not, we've seen no offense from Miami. They've scored 10, 15, 12, 3, 10. Yeah, since Tua got hurt, they've had zero offense here. Um, uh, Arizona, 1-5 and five on the road against Miami. 3-10 and 10 against Miami. Uh, they have not been good against Miami. Um, yeah. This is just, regardless of the stats, this, you know, who was back. They obviously play better with two. We've seen Tyreek Hill Waddle not even, like, involved. And people forget they got Odell Beckham, which I honestly forgot they got Odell Beckham. But getting a lot of guys back today. Yeah, I like the Dolphins here, man. I mean, this is a chance to really be back and, uh, Got to make, they got to protect Tua. That's the key thing here. Um, yeah, I like the Dolphins. Man, the four and a half, I just don't, I, I don't love the four and a half, but I guess I still got to take it. Give me Dolphins. I, I like them more as a money line play today. Give me Dolphins minus four and a half and money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Falcons versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Falcons opening up as a two and a half point road favorite with the over under at 45 and a half. Falcons coming into this matchup four and three. The Bucks also four and three. Uh, the Falcons coming off a bad Seattle loss, 34 to 14. Remember, they beat Tampa 36 to 30 in their last meeting, and that was a crazy game. Tampa coming off a Baltimore loss. Yeah, the real new injuries for Tampa, the wide receivers. Chris, Chris Godwin and Mike Evans both out. So uh, they need other guys to step up today. Um, you know, definitely, definitely hurts to have them both out. But at home here, I still think they're good dogs. Uh, Atlanta just three and six against Tampa. Uh, so that, you know, they haven't been the better head to head team here. Um, I like Tampa. Yeah, I think people are going to be off them because they're without their two best weapons. I think uh, Baker's just going to sling the rock around to everyone else. Get their running backs more involved. Tight ends. Receivers will step up here and uh, I'm going to buy a point. Give me the Bucks plus three and a half at home today. Next matchup, we got the Baltimore Ravens versus the Cleveland Browns. Ravens opening up as an eight and a half point road favorite with the over under at 45. Ravens coming into this matchup five and two. Browns one and six. Um, the Ravens coming off yeah they're on a five game winning streak right now Ravens playing hot right now coming off a big Tampa Bay win 41-31 Cleveland they've lost their last five obviously Deshaun Watson out for the year uh, Winston's going to be the starter which you know Winston's going to rejuvenate the offense here I'm sure he's going to turn it over that's just what he does the t the, you know the O-lines the team stinks but Winston's going to play hard. We all know that. The offense definitely going to be probably the best Cleveland offense we've seen. Even if they're not that good today, I'm sure they'll be better than what we've seen so far this season. They'll be able to move the ball. I'll give them that, especially with Winston. Uh, but Baltimore on a tear here. I mean, an unstoppable uh, with Derrick Henry and Lamar. They're 6-3 and three covering against Cleveland. Ballman 5 straight up against Cleveland here. Um... Yeah, I just gotta, I gotta take the Ravens. I just trust the Ravens more in this matchup. Give me Baltimore minus eight and a half on money line on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Green Bay Packers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. 
Packers opening up as a four point road favorite with the over under at 49 and a half. Packers coming into this matchup five and two. The Jaguars two and five. Packers uh, coming off a, a nice Houston win 24 22. They're on a three game winning streak. Jaguars coming off a uh, Patriots win 32 16. Green Bay, uh, they're five and two against Jacksonville. Uh, five and one covering on the road right now. Uh, Jaguars is two and four covering at home. Um, zero oh and eight against the NFC uh, North Division. Yeah, I like the Packers. Packers just playing too good, and um, I just don't trust the Jaguars. I'm buying a point. Keep it out of field goal. Give me Packers minus three on the road and money line on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Indianapolis Colts versus the Houston Texans. Houston opening up as a five-point home favorite with the over/under at 45 and a half. Colts coming into this matchup four and three. Houston five and two. Uh, the Colts on a two-game winning streak. They're four and one in their last five. They're actually playing pretty good here. Uh, Houston coming off a tough Green Bay loss. Um, Houston. Uh, five and zero at home, where they play very well. Uh, the Colts. Yeah, Houston one seven covering at home against the Colts here. Uh, yeah, interesting there. I, I still like Houston coming off the bad. I wouldn't say bad, but tough Green Bay loss here. I like them to bounce back at home here. Uh, I, I like the offense to get rolling against the Colts today. Yeah, give me the. Uh, Texans minus five and money line at home in this one. Next matchup, we've got the New York Jets versus the New England Patriots. Jets opening up as a seven point road favorite with the over under at 41. Jets coming into this matchup two and five. Patriots one and six. Uh, the Jets, yeah, coming off, they're on a four game losing streak. Disappointing loss against Pittsburgh, 37 to 15. Uh, the Patriots, they're on a Six game losing streak coming off a Jaguars loss. Uh, both teams playing very bad here. Uh, the Jets, you know, just two and 15 against the Patriots, one and 12 on the road against the Patriots. They have not been good against the Patriots here. Two and six covering against the Patriots. Yeah, the numbers have not been good against the Patriots, but this is a different Patriots team, rookie quarterback. The offense has just been horrible for New England. Um, I expect a big bounce back from the Jets here. I mean, really, they're back against the wall. They got to win this game to just stay alive and just, you know, not get killed by the media. They got to win this game. I think they do. It's just if they were playing probably anybody else, I'd probably take the points with the, the dog. But the Patriots have just been that bad. Their defense can't stop anybody. I'm going to buy a half a point. Give me Jets minus six and a half and money line on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals opening up as a two and a half point home favorite with the over under at 47 and a half. Eagles coming into this matchup four and two. The Bengals three and four. Uh, Eagles on a two game winning streak coming off a big Giants win 28 to three. Cincinnati, they're on a two game winning streak coming off a Cleveland win 21 to 14. Uh, no, no Dallas Goddard for Philly here. Uh, Philly, 0-10 covering against Cincinnati. 0-4-1 on the road against the Bengals here. Crazy, they have been that bad against the Bengals. Um, big game for Cincinnati on both teams on two-game winning streaks. Um, this one's tough because the Eagles got all their guys back. You've seen ever since they got A.J. Brown and Smith back. The offenses look good because those few games they were out. The offense, they were scoring single digits. Now they're back in the 20s. They're playing well. Offense is looking good. I, think, I mean, it's going to be a great game, but I'm buying a point. I think this is the close one. Give me the Eagles plus three and a half on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Tennessee Titans versus the Detroit Lions. Detroit opening up as an 11 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 44 and a half. Titans coming into this matchup one and five. Detroit five and one. 
uh, the Lions. I'm sorry. Titans on a two-game losing streak. Coming off a 34-10 loss against Buffalo. Detroit, they're on a four-game winning streak. Coming off a big Minnesota win, 31-29. Uh, looks like Mason, Mason Rudolph's going to be the starter here. Tennessee, 5-0 covering against Detroit. 6-0 against Detroit. 4-1 on the road against Detroit. These numbers are crazy for Tennessee. They've been really good against Detroit here. Detroit, though, 6-1 at home. 7-1 covering the spread. This is a much different Detroit team. Uh, you got a Tennessee offense that's been scoring in the single digits here. Detroit's going to put up points. Uh, their last three games, they put up 31, 47, 42. They might do the same against Tennessee. I just don't know if Tennessee's going to be able to keep up. Um, yeah, give me Detroit minus 11 and a half in money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Buffalo Bills versus the Seattle Seahawks. Bills opening up as a three point road paper with the over under at 45 and a half. Bills coming into this matchup five and two, Seattle four and three. Uh, Buffalo on a two game winning streak, back to back nice games against Tennessee and the Jets. Uh, Seattle coming off a big Atlanta win, 34 14, ending their three game losing streak that they were on. Uh, Buffalo five one and one covering the spread where they've been really good here. Uh, the over set in five of the last five on the road against Seattle. Um, I'm liking Buffalo here. Um, yeah, they're playing good. You saw Cooper looking good in his debut. That's going to help the offense a lot. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to have DK Metcalf for this game, uh, which is definitely a big loss for Seattle. I just like the way Buffalo's playing here. Um, yeah, picking things up, playing well. Nice two-game stretch for them. Offense is looking good. I'm going to buy a half a point, and um, I'm going to take the Bills minus two and a half in money line on the road today. Next matchup, we got the New Orleans Saints versus the, San or versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers opening up as a seven-point home favorite with the over-under at 41. Saints coming into this matchup, two and five. The Chargers, three and three. Uh, Saints, uh, they're on a five-game losing streak, coming off a 33-10 loss against Denver. Chargers coming off a tough Arizona loss, 17 to 15 here. Uh, looks like Spentler Rattler is going to be the quarterback today. But, um, man, I just don't trust the Saints here. They just haven't looked good. They've looked pretty bad. Chargers, I expect a big bounce back for them at home. Uh, the overs hit in each of the last six games between the two. But, uh, yeah, I, I just expect the Chargers to bounce back. It looks like they're getting Joey Bosa back on D, which is good. But, um, yeah, I like the Chargers here. Um, the Saints team just hasn't looked good offensively. Give me Chargers minus six and a half in money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Carolina Panthers versus the Denver Broncos. Denver opening up as an 11 point home favorite with the over under at 41. Carolina coming into this matchup one and six. Denver four and three. Uh, Carolina on a four game losing streak. Coming off a 40-7 loss against Washington. Denver coming off a Saints win 33-10. A nice win for Denver. Uh, they're playing well. So many injuries. Looks like Andy Dalton's not going to be the quarterback here. Um, yeah, looks like Bryce Young is going to be the starter. Uh, we'll see how Bryce Young's played. I mean, he has not played good. Uh, Carolina. Yeah, one and twelve on the road, one and four against Denver, one and four covering against Denver. Yeah, I just don't trust this uh, Carolina team, and uh, I think I'm gonna take Denver minus eleven and money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Bears versus the Washington Commanders. Bears opening up as a one and a half point road favorite with the over under at forty five. Uh, Bears. Coming into this matchup, uh, four and two, Washington five and two. Uh, Bears on a three-game winning streak, coming off a of Jags win, thirty-five to sixteen. Back-to-back thirty-five-plus games for Chicago, Washington. They're coming off a of forty to seven win against Carolina. Uh, the big news here is Jane Daniels. Uh, he's questionable. I mean, we don't know if he's going to play or not, so we'll have to just see what happens there. Um, 
the over 10 and the five of the last six between the two. For me, this one's kind of simple. If Washington, if Jane Daniels is playing, I love Washington at home. If Jane Daniels is out, uh, I'm taking the Bears. So be sure to check that. D Daniels is in, I'll take Washington plus the points at home. If uh, he's out, I think I got to take the Bears in this one. So I just check and monitor this game. And that might be, if he plays or not, that determines who I go with. Next matchup, we got the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Chiefs opening up as a 9.5 point road favorite with the over under at 41.5. Chiefs coming into this matchup 6 0. The Raiders 2 5. Chiefs, uh, yeah, undefeated, coming off a big San Francisco win 28 18. The Raiders, they're on a three game losing streak, coming off a Rams loss. Obviously, Chiefs pick it, picking up DeAndre Hopkins. Juju Smith-Schuster's out, but D-Hop, obviously not as elite as he was, obviously past his prime, but they don't need D-Hop to be a speedster. He's not a speedster. They need someone to run some crisp little 5, 10-yard routes. D-Hop's going to do that at a high level. That's going to help them out. That's going to free up Kelsey more, free up Xavier Worthy worry for a couple deep shots. So I love the pickup from the Chiefs. They're 6-0 uh, and on the road against Vegas. 6-1 and against Vegas where they've been dominant here. Uh, yeah, love the love the Chiefs. Raiders have looked horrible. Give me Chiefs minus nine and a half and money line on the road. And then uh, Sunday night football. We've got the Dallas Cowboys versus the San Francisco 49ers. Niners opening up as a four and a half point home favorite with the over under at 47. Cowboys coming into this matchup three and three. The Niners three and four. Uh, Dallas coming off a Detroit loss 47 to nine. Just a Absolute beat down from Dallas. Uh, Giants coming off a, a Chiefs loss. I'm not not the Giants. The Niners coming off a Giants coming off a Chiefs loss. Um, yeah, if I'm reading this right, no Micah Parsons, no Deron Bland. So they're missing key guys on D, which the D has already been horrible with them. So without them, it's going to be even more rough. Um, yeah, Brandon Ayuk out for the season. Crazy. Just got the payday out for the year. You hate to see that. Um, but George Kittle, good to go. Debo, good to go. Got his weapons. Brock Purdy struggled. He struggled this season. But uh, I think against this Dallas D, they cannot stop the run. They are going to run it down their throats. And, uh, yeah, I do not trust this Dallas team on the road. And, um, yeah, give me the Niners minus four and a half and money line at home today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.